Benakwe. Welcome to Arcane's Bay. This is the estuary which leads out to the almighty Moana. Here it comes. Arcane's Bay is notable for having cockles up there and mussels along here and all around here. Tua tours. So we're going to have a wee look and see what we can find. so stupid. I thought that this water was like three meters deep. You can walk across it. What am I doing with fins and dive belt? Ah. Oh. now. Here we go. Yeah, we're on the right track. Most of them are pretty small. Yeah, they're just sitting underneath the surface there of the rocks. Oh, going down the river. Oh. It's letting the <laughs> current push me along. Oh, look at that. Pay dirt. Finally. Finally. <laughs> Bigger ones and they're cleaner too. Excellent. Great thing about these ones is that the uh, the barnacles on them don't seem to be too hard. That may be something to do with the fact that they're in an estuary. These barnacles are always a real nuisance when it comes time to cook them and open them up. But yeah, reasonable looking mussels, not too big, not too small. These are not, not empty shells, are they? No, they're full. They're, they're all full. Yes. <laughs> right here in the middle of the O'Kane's Bay estuary. No digging, just pick. I would say that in this spot, you're kind of spoiled for choice. <laughs> they're just sitting here. Millions of them. You don't even have to dig them out. Cockles. Look at them all. So delicious. Mmm. I just want to eat them right now. Mmm. Cockles. I'm going to begin by preparing the bases uh, and then I'm going to open up the shellfish and then it'll all go into the oven. Fresh pizza bases, tomato paste, the three cheeses, olive, tomato, seafood sauce and tartare sauce. Well, 
One base is going to receive cream cheese. And the second base is going to receive cream cheese and tomato paste. Next, let's apply some of our ingredients. Let's add cheese and olives. In order to add the flavor of the sea, the ocean, the moana, into your seafood pizza, you need something salty. Some people use anchovies. I use olives. You don't always find it on a seafood pizza, but I like to use the humble tomato. The bases are pretty much ready. We've now got to open up the shellfish, put the shellfish on top, apply the seafood sauce, and cook them. Good, wow, four cheese. Four glasses, you can see through. We have a combination of things in here. We've got cockles, mussels, giant clam, and a tua tua. But it's mainly going to be separated into mussels and cockles. While the shellfish is heating up and then is going to open up, I'm going to preheat the oven for the pizzas. They've already started to open up. We've got the mussels opening up. It's time to start pulling them out. Okay, so I'm opening up the mussels now. The one thing I hate about the old mussels is those damn beards inside them. <laughs> but because of the fact that you're opening them all up, it gives you the chance to sort of inspect the mussels and if you can see the, uh, the beards in there, you can get rid of them before they go onto the pizza. See food and eat it. I think it's about time to put it in. Well, this one is pizza number one. Pizza number one. Has the cockles on it. Thank you. Ooh, yum. Mmm. All right. This one is the one with the mussels on it. Do you like pizza? I like pizza. Was that an all right video? Well. Why don't you check out the playlist? There might be another video that you want to see. Oh, I'm just having to relax here. Alright, thanks for watching. <laughs>